one. That's right. Now, right. here, the world is watching. Yes, right. Five different versions of cell phone footage. Bart responded by saying, the film was grainy. That's what they said. Wow. And inconclusive. Which film? Now, here, you got a police officer who his sister said, which film? <laughs> they had five to choose from. Right, right, right. I take a few pictures as a hobby, and it might be a little blurry every now and then, but if I had five cameras with automatic focus, somebody's going to get a picture. Right, right, right. Modern technology has just made it nearly impossible to not get a picture. That's right. Come on. Peace, right? Bart has his own camera. Right. They got cameras on the train. That's right. I tell you all secret, I don't uh, I travel much on public transportation, but I snuck out a few weeks ago and took the BART from Pleasanton to Fruitvale. Minding my own business, I hadn't been on the train in so long, and I got in there, I was the only one on there. <laughs> it sat there for a minute, and I thought I must be on the wrong train. <laughs> Let me get off of here. Okay. <laughs> so I went and no one was in the cabin to manage the door. So I hit the emergency exit. Okay. Brothers don't like to be confined. Okay. <laughs> Tried the door open, stepped out. A few minutes later, they, the train engineer came to open it up and let the folks on. I was just the first one on. <laughs> Got off at Fruitvale, walked over to Starbucks, called one of our brothers to come and pick me up for another meeting. I never would have guessed that I was taking my life into my hands at Fruitvale Bar. But in truth, we now know that I was, and we are. And as Archbishop said, this is a regional problem. God made it that way. Because that train connects all of us throughout northern uh, Bay Area. That's right. And so as we're confronted by this, we went to the district attorney's steps and held a press conference to demand justice. Right. And that demand is now reverberating all over the world. That's right. I read in the Oakland Tribune this morning that while there's a march being planned at Fruitvale, pardon me, at City Hall in Oakland tomorrow, that a unity march of the same kind is going to occur in 15 separate cities. Mm. And then the news says that it is now impacting London, mm. France, yeah. Switzerland, yeah. Sweden. Come on. Yeah. In other words, folk all over the world hear the cry for justice. That's right. right. For the Honorable Elijah Muhammad once said that the heavens and the earth cry out for the falsely accused. That's right. What was Oscar right. Grant That's accused right. of? Right. His only crime was being an urban male on the BART train on New Year's. That's right. I was blessed to meet his mother after our town hall meeting in Oakland a few days ago, and grandmother. And it turned out that Brother Oscar was an active member of his church. That's right. right. That's right. I think an usher. That's mm -hmm. right. Wow. His mother, quiet as kept, is a pastor. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. With a master's degree. That's right. In theology. Yes. His grandmother. Oh, she was so wonderful. That's my grandmother. Okay. And that's your grandmother. Yes, right. Right. We walked into the house. She took charge of the room and said, Pastors, we're not saying nothing until you lead us in prayer. Right. Now I'm standing with three pastors and myself and here grandma, full of faith, right. said we don't go anywhere into this dialogue until we pray for us. Right. And we did. And it turned out that the night that Brother Oscar was killed, the whole family was together for his mother's birthday, December the 31st. Mm. And they were just parting ways Man. from the family gathering and the mother in a faithful way 
could say at least she had the chance yes. right. to have the whole family together. And I don't know any of you have had the experience of losing a loved one and didn't get a chance to say to them before they got away from you, the last time, I love you. Right. She did. Yes. Mm. So, in his name and with his honor, we decided, even before that incident, that the time had arrived that justice be gained for our people. Right. Mm -hmm. so. Oscar Grant is not alone. That's right. right. There are many Oscar Grants That's right. all over America. That's right. But California has, if you really look at it, it's not Alabama. It's not uh, Tennessee. That's right. It's not Georgia or Texas. Quiet is kept. It may well be worse. Mm. Because at least when I'm walking in Montgomery, Alabama, if somebody calls me by the N-word, I may not be surprised. Right. So I really may have learned how to respond to it. Folk came to California feeling that they had gotten away from that. Right. Right. And I'm sure if we polled the room, maybe with the exception of our sister from Liberia, that nearly every one of us can throw our root back and say, oh, Louisiana. Mm. Yes, sir. Is that right? That's Texas. Right. Yes, sir. Arkansas, yes, sir. Alabama, oh, Mississippi. Yeah. We can say that right here, can't we? That's right. Right. So nearly every one of us, when we start going grandma, great-grandma, that's where we're going. That's right. When I was a little boy, I went back to Louisiana, my mother and father's hometown. My mother was afraid because being raised in California, she thought that I would get out there and not tap dance, and not bow, and not look down, when white folk came along and therefore one of them would want to do me harm and I'm only 10 years old at the time. Mm -hmm. Well, she understood growing up there right. what was expected right. of black folk there. Right. Our problem can be that our children have not been properly educated of the forces that have been confronting us for 400 years and as a result right. our children have been found doing nothing, going nowhere right. toward making progress because they waited That's right. mm -hmm. to see if the system would all of a sudden become their friend. That's mm -hmm. right. And the truth is, it has. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, sir. So yeah. now California has the largest prison system in the world. That's right. In the world. One in every three black youth mm. in California is either incarcerated, youth up to 35, or under court supervision. That's right. Someone did a study that said one in every three black youth and urban youth generally about the same, Latino meaning. Right, right. One in every three has nothing to do. Now, they passed some propositions some years ago, one called Proposition 13 in which they cut the funding to nearly every public service in the state so that when I got to high school in the late 70s and early 80s and I thought that I was going to play football, and I did, they didn't tell us they were going to cut the hot water off and you couldn't take a shower after practice or a ball game. Come on. We went home muddy. In fact, we went out partying smelling pretty bad <laughs> right after the game. Because after Prop 13, they cut off the hot water. After Prop 13, they wouldn't give us a towel. After Prop 13, the band no longer had instruments. You had to buy your own. So that may be in part why our young, young people are using their rhythm to make their music. Because who can afford a $300 violin for a beginner? Come on, come on. Who's got $500 to walk into music class and you may not even know if you enjoy that instrument anymore. Right, that's right. Now, I don't know if it's like that in the Antioch schools. I can tell you it's like that in Oakland schools. I can tell you it's like that in San Francisco schools. There's hardly a program left to cultivate the minds of our young people and they want to know why they're hanging out and then put up a sign that says no loitering. <laughs> But now, systemically, nothing's been provided to do, 
And when they find something to do in front of your store, in front of your door, right. because of the idea that's in the mind of law enforcement, 